Thank you, Presiding Officer. To ask the First Minister whether the Scottish Government will investigate the reported increasing number of children being referred to the Gender Specialist Clinic in Glasgow in light of reports of a similar inquiry planned by the UK Government. First Minister. But we are aware that referrals for young people's uh, gender identity services have increased in Scotland as they have throughout the UK. Uh, the recent interim report from the CAS review into these services in NHS England highlighted the importance of robust data collection and the impact of long waiting times. Uh, we have already in Scotland recognised the need to improve services, including for young people. Uh, that is why uh, we plan to provide £9 million over three years to support improvement in service delivery, data collection, research and support. Uh, we do not look to replicate the work of the cash review, but as we have previously said, we will carefully consider its findings in the context of NHS Scotland services. Megan Gallagher. I thank the First Minister for her answer. According to recent reports, 263 patients under the age of 18 are being treated at the Sandyford Clinic in Glasgow. Almost 1,000 are on the waiting list for their first appointment, including 86 prepubescent children. At least 98% of children who consent to take puberty blockers go on to have sex hormone treatment that can cause irreversible changes to their body. These figures are alarming. We need to balance up the need to help those who are definitely suffering from gender dysphoria with the need to protect vulnerable young people who are unsure of their identity and risk embarking on gender hormone treatment prematurely. So will the First Minister commit to a similar inquiry announced by the UK Government to ensure our young people are safeguarded? First Minister. Um, I think safeguarding is important, but I think it's also important that we properly um, understand and apply uh, principles of, of safeguarding. Um, the Scottish Government, uh, and I hope everybody would recognise that it is really important and, and right that trans people uh, or anyone questioning their gender identity should have access to the right support at the right time for them. And, and actually, one of the biggest issues here uh, are the waiting times uh, for access to NHS gender identity services uh, for both adults and young people, uh, which is why we're making the investments that I referenced in my original answer. It's also important uh, to recognise that in Scotland, and this is a matter of law under the Age of Legal Capacity Scotland Act 1991, so uh, an act that predates the life of this parliament, uh, any person under 16 can consent to a medical procedure or treatment where the qualified medical practitioner uh, attending them considers they are capable of understanding the nature and the possible consequences of that procedure or treatment. And decisions on the type of treatment uh, to prescribe are rightly for clinicians to make in consultation uh, with any patient following an individual assessment. Uh, on the issue of puberty uh, blockers, I think it's also important uh, to narrate uh, this. The Sandyford Young People Services reported that in the period from 2011 to uh, 2021, so a period of 11 years, in total, less than 193 young people were referred for an appointment with a hormone specialist. That's an average of eight uh, per year. And uh, the numbers actually being prescribed hormones uh, was, was even less than that. Uh, so let's take these issues uh, seriously. But I think we owe it uh, to everybody uh, also to treat these issues incredibly sensitively and to have at the heart uh, the rights of all young people to get the advice uh, that they need at the time that is right for them. Yeah. Question number six, Stevenson.